Time for baseball on the show from the bank. Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. A Memorial Day get-together for you here. Catfish Hunter, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, he's having a very nice season so far. You look at that ERA in the low twos. Looking to continue that trend here in this one. Very weakly on the ground. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Michael Brantley will stand in here with a runner at first to start the inning. Now, I know both of you are more familiar with the art of hitting as opposed to the art of pitching, but on a wet night like this, who do you think this favors? Well, I, I think it favors the pitcher. I know they're going to argue well the grip, but the ball doesn't carry on wet nights. So if I'm out there, I'm saying, look, pitcher advantage. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. High in the air out to center field. Goes is under it. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Brandon Belt will stand in, and he's certainly a dangerous man up there, currently second in the National League in RBIs. Well, he is having a big year so far driving in runs, and that could mean big things for him in this offseason when he goes to negotiate that new contract he's up for. Squared that one up just a little late. One out and a runner on second base. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Danny Valencia will stand in now. And as you can easily tell from the splits, he's really struggled away from home. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Upton. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot to straight away left, and the Friars have moved out in front three to nothing. Denard Spann is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Three runs already home here. And this is lined right back up the middle. Ah, but the throw bounces on him at first, and the inning's going to continue. Seven. Jose Reyes Shortstop. will stand in now. Jose he homered Reyes. in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And even with three runs in here, that guy's still a threat to go at first. He may try and make this inning worse. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Gio Gonzalez will be the man on the mound for the Friars. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, he's got a two-to-one strikeout-to-walk ratio, so he's throwing the ball pretty well. We'll see how that translates into this one. Valencia is up with it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Well, I think this team has to be hoping that Michael Franco can get some of his mojo back. High and deep to left center field. Brantley going back at the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting third. Joey first Votto baseman. will come forward Joey now, and like Votto. so many of his Phillies teammates, really thrives here at Citizens Bank Park, as is reflected in his splits. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Eric, this Padre team as they take the field here tonight. They come in off another victory last time out. And now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, but they've got a tough assignment on the mound here tonight. So they're going to have their hands full. But the way they've been playing, I get the sense that no one in that dugout is too concerned. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Oh, that's what you call getting in tight with the fastball. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll move to inning number. 
Michael McHenry makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Hunter's ready. 0-1 on its way. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A little bouncer that rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Gerard Dyson will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Gonna be a tough play. On to first, and the throw goes right by him. And the throw in gets away from him. D. Gordon stands in. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. Fortunately, however, the third baseman's able to run it down. Wow. Line to the right side. Ichiro has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run's in to score from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And he's probably a little bit upset with himself for giving up that early run, but he really reached back for something extra right there. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2 breaks is bad as this one's popped up well chalk another one up for that pitcher he's used to breaking bats and he'll give you a little stare down after doing something oh, like that every outside. once in a while a little bit off the outside it's one and two still one and two as he fouls it away hit hard to short Nunez comes up with it throw goes to Votto over at first it's in time to retire the Patrick Rosales will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Into the windup and the pitch. Rosales. On oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Got him. Justin Upton will come forward now as we give you a look at his home and away splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Brantley is there to make the play, and it takes just one pitch to retire Upton. Cutting six. Michael hitter. Franco Mike gets his first Carter. chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Quinn will wait on it, and he will put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for... Tony Gwynn is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Now after a rough couple of innings, you'd like to give your guy a chance to straighten himself out here, but I also think you got to keep your options open in case he just doesn't have it. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Padres have now opened up a 5 to nothing lead. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make a play for the first down. How about it? Ready to take his hacks again. Danny Valencia as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Breaking ball for a strike. 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. Some would say he's showing good patience here, waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I think you need to make something happen. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Center fielder number two. Denard Spans, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball 1. 1-0. One oh. Ichiro is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Into the box, Jose Reyes as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Hit on the ground to short. Nunez is there, and the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. This is line to left. Upton under it and he makes the catch for out number three Mitchell Otto will come forward to begin the inning seven eight and nine to Leaving start the home the third and they're still Catcher. searching for a base runner Mitchell. it's been six up Otto. six down to start the game in the air to straight away right moving under it when he's got it one away Anthony Ghost will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Well, he's been hitting really well over his last 10 games or so, and he's someone to watch out for in this one. Gonzalez looks in. Here's the 0-1. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Span, still going back. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ichiro Suzuki will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down on just four pitches. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Gerard eight. Dyson stands in as he looks at a called strike. Well, even though he's throwing a first pitch strike to about 70% of the batters he's faced, the rest of his game has not been sharp, and he's not pitching well. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Fastball hey. called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. D. Gordon digs in now after lining out in his last try. And Matt, you know what? It's always a little frustrating when you square one up, you hit a solid live drive somewhere, and all you get to show for it is a nice little jog right back to the dugout. That can get in your head a little bit after a while. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody. So at least he's got that going for him. Ichiro is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter. Michael Brantley will dig in here. Michael one for two. Brantley. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. Chop foul right at home plate. Chop foul wide of her. Catfish has the sign. Here's the 0-2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Hot shot on the ground is short. To his right, Nunez. Throw on Nevada will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Chris Bryant will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking the for their the first board. hit of the ball game. And still looking for Number their first 17. base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike.
Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. And, and I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that is through into left, and an 0-2 mistake here results in a leadoff single. Next Stepping Philadelphia. in, Eduardo nice Nunez. Shortstop. He flew out Eduardo in his last at-bat. Line toward the alley in left center. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Joey Votto will stand in and maybe a ray of hope as they get the first two men aboard here. And this crowd's just itching for something to put their hands together about. Well, the positive moments, they've been few and far between, but they're not out of this game. Now, they've got some guys in this lineup that can make this deficit go away. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Votto here, 0-2. Boy, he was so far behind that first pitch that he over-adjusted and was so far ahead of this one. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Digging in, Patrick Rosales. He looked to bounce Second back baseman. after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Off the plate at 94, 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Lake making contact on that swing, and will do it again on 1-2. and two. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. Justin Upton gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two out at bat right here. You know, it's still early in this game, but you don't want to have to look back on this as a... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Tony Gwynn heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. You know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Slap hard the opposite way. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Catfish steps into his windup. Here's the first pitch. Brandon Belt is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. In for a strike, it's one and one. Five runs, seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Danny Valencia strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. So a runner at first with two away. And standing fourth is the left-handed hitting Denard Spann. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Michael Franco. And they'll need him to get something going here. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. Turned on down the line.
Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another one sent foul. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Now Mitchell Otto is at the plate now. Flied Mitchell out in his first at bat. Otto. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Anthony Ghost is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Now a ball lined to the right side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. So two men are on with one man out, and in steps the dangerous Ichiro. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. And we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Chris Bryant digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Two down, runners at first and second. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a three-run shot to left center. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And it's a 5-3 game now. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. And Hit hard back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. Joey Votto will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to. Jose Reyes steps in here to lead off the sixth as the rain continues to fall here. Well, I'm glad I'm up in this cozy booth with you guys because it kind of looks pretty miserable down there to me. Trevor God is going to get the call now here in a surprise move. I mean, this Number is the 62. sixth inning. Trevor Gott. Jose Reyes is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Gets a small piece near the plate. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. The batter, Michael, Michael McHenry is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Nope, that's that's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Ah, changed One things ball. up on him, and two he got strike. him to swing through it. One and two now. Now, he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Votto in foul ground, and a rather easy first out. Now in the box, Gerard the Dyson. He got one. called out on strikes That's his last Henry. time through. Gerard That's yanked Dyson. into the stand. Strike one. 
liner towards second. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Oh, and he's not going to make it to third as he's gunned down by the right fielder, and that's a tough second out. The batter, number nine. D. Gordon second will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Drives it to deep right field. Ichiro going back on it. A leap by Ichiro, but that one is gone. A home run. Here's Michael Brantley. Into the seats, 0-1. Brantley. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Seven runs, 11 hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Leading off the inning, Patrick Rosales. Off, and they'll Williams. need him to get something going Second here. Baseman, Patrick Rosales. Out in front of it, strike one. Gonzalez gets the sign. Here it is on 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. The left fielder, number eight. Justin Upton Justin stands Upton. into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Quinn has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Well, batter number seven. Michael Franco will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Down the third baseline. Oh, and it's off Valencia's glove. And some problems defensively as they allow him to reach first safely. Now batting. Mitchell Otto Mitchell. steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Yeah, and he's really getting over the top of that curveball. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. So after the three spot last time around, he's able Tony Gwynn will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Brandon Belt gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Danny Valencia will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And it's quickly 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Denard Spann will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Jose Reyes ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. On the ground up the middle. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Looking to minimize the damage here, Michael McHenry is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And on the mound, you can tell he's not in here to mess around. He means business. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Nunez is there for it, and that ends the inning. Anthony Goes steps into the Leading box as the leadoff lead. hitter here in the bottom Center of the seventh. Well, oh, you're facing Anthony a pretty big deficit Goes. in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. Right side, hit hard. 
A spin and a throw. And a spin throw gets him at first. A fine play there for the first down. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Not a real good effort there. No, it's one thing if it's a slider running away or something like that. But that pitch right there was never going to be a strike. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now batting third base. Chris Bryant strides forward to bat again, coming off a home run that plated three scores in his last appearance. Well, that was a fastball that he hit then, so we'll see if they go after him with hard stuff again. Not even close on that swing. No balls in a strike. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, same pitch, same result, and he's late on it again. Line toward center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Phillies down in order. Gerard Dyson comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Greg Holland will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Tap foul at home plate. Holland pauses, coming at him with the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. Chop foul at the plate, it'll remain 1-2. Hit to short. Nunez takes it in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. D. Gordon will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. The left fielder, number 23. Michael Brantley Michael is at the plate as he Brantley. takes a cold strike one. Two quick outs in the inning. This hitter's job is to work the count, get on base, and give his middle-of-the-order hitters a chance in this inning. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. Leading off the inning, Eduardo Nunez. Leading and they'll need him to get something going here. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Gordon is there, and that's not the way you want to start the bottom of the eighth. One pitch, one gone. Joey Votto will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at-bats so far. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. The windup and the 0-1. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to 1-1. One and one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Patrick Rosales will stand now in now with two away, needing to really baseball. get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Ani takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. And with some of these guys, it's like they're in an 0-2 count before they even come to the plate. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one. Tony Gwynn is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. Pulled toward right center field. Ichiro on the move. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. 
Brandon Belt digs in, coming off a single in his last at bat. Swung right over the splitter there, 0 and 1. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Danny Valencia strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Runners on first with one down. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Chop foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. Holland's ready. They try to put him away here on two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. First pitch of the at bat. Denard Spann is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Runner on first with two away. There's a belt-high strike to even the count at 1-1. One one. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1-2. and two. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Number 36 will come in and pitch now. San Diego. Number 30 striding in to start the ninth, Justin Upton. And they'll need him to get something going here. From the bottom of the ninth, left fielder, Justin Upton. Shot back up the middle. Span is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Michael Franco ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far from the stretch. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. Think you'll see another one of those before this at-bat's through? <laughs> After that swing, I think you can just about take that to the bank. Swing and a soft liner toward third. And no shot there for Valencia. It's a fair ball. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. Mitchell Otto gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Whoa. That's a pearl right there. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And he got him. Anthony goes. Makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. That's not looking too good for him anymore, but you know what? There's no clock in this sport, and that's for good reason. You've got to fight for all 27 outs. The 0 and 1 delivery in the dirt here but fortunately here no advance has them down to their final strike here it comes and he holds up on this one but it's a cold strike three and with that the ball game is over well there's another good